Braves hosting the Brewers, and the Brewers are plus 180 on the money line. The Braves are minus 220. The over-under is 10 runs. The Brewers getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 100, meaning if you bet them that way, or minus 110, forgive me, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win, they lose by one, you win, while the Braves also laying a run and a half on the run line are minus 110 on the run line, so both of these teams are same thing. But the Braves would have to win by two. Tehran pitched once against the Braves this year. Six innings, one run, one earned. They lost that game 4-2. He struck out five in that game. It was last week. Uh, They are four and six as a team in his last ten appearances. He's averaging five and two-thirds innings pitched and four strikeouts per game in his last ten. Now, in his last five appearances, more specifically, they are one and four as a team. They've lost his last two starts. He's got a 3.6 ERA, and he's averaging five and a third innings pitched. Now, he had one earned run and struck out five in his last appearance, so that wasn't a bad outing. Four earned runs and struck out three. Six earned runs and struck out seven. Seven earned runs and struck out two. And then no earned runs and struck out three. So we could see kind of where he went wrong in some of those games. For Elder, he pitched once, and it was against Tehran. Uh, Six innings, two runs, two earned. They won that game four to two. That was in Milwaukee. He struck out two batters in that game. The Braves are 6-4 and four as a team in his last 10 appearances. He's averaging 5 and a third innings pitched and 3.5 and strikeouts per game in those games. The Braves are 3-2 uh, and two in his last 5 outings. His ERA is at 3.6. He's averaging 4 and 2 thirds innings pitched, so he hasn't been going very deep in these games either. Uh, two earned runs, two strikeouts, five earned runs, four strikeouts, seven earned runs, no strikeouts, two earned runs, one strikeout, two earned runs, four strikeouts. So clearly if they offer a K line for him, you would want to go under. Now head to head, the road team, the home team is six and four. The Braves are on a two game winning streak. The Braves are six and four against the Brewers in their last 10. The favorites on a two game winning streak. The favorite is six and four on the money line. However, the underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is 6-4. and four. There have been four one-run games in their last 10 meetings, one in their last three. The over-under is 5-5, five and five, and the over, the under 10 is 6-3-1. and one. The last game they played against each other, the Braves won 10-7. The game before that, the Braves won 4-2. The game before that, the Braves won 4-3. Uh, the Brewers won 4-3, and the game before that, the Braves won 4 Six to four, and their last handful of games overall. The Brewers are five and five in their last ten, and two and two in their last four. Taking two out of three against the Reds, three to two, then losing four three, then beating the Reds three nothing, and then losing ten to seven today to the Braves. For the Braves, they are four and six in their last ten, two and two in their last four, beating the Brewers four two, then losing both games to the Red Sox seven one and five three, and then beating up on the Brewers again today. 10 to 7. I'm going to take the Braves with the money line. I'm going to take the Braves laying the runs. And I think 10 is a tad bit too high. So I'm going to go under in this game. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.